Hello and welcome to the first record of OBP, which stands for Observe, Protect, and Pacify. I am the wizard, Utah Ozin, the alright. Just because I have alright in my name doesn't mean I'm just alright. I'm a little, a little bit more than that. Uh, just a family name, and, and you know, it's don't. It's, that's that's another story. But anyway, uh. Uh, I am in the lands of Hindendor, and right now I have a strange creature called Goop. It's a little slime goop thing of green, transparent, squishy, slimy substance. I don't even know what it is. And it doesn't have eyes, mouth, any features besides just gloop. But it does shake around a bit and goes very slowly. But before I describe the more properties, the very strange properties of goop. Uh, I, I would like to explain how I got this goop and uh, I, I was simply walking to uh, a nearby town called Hicken Kitten 4 and uh, I don't really fucking like this town because it has my cousin there and I'm supposed to meet him his name's Bob and he's just a fucking weird guy in the family he likes to put his toes in jam and I'm like oh, I don't really like this guy he's a little a little dumb fuck. Um, anyway, when I was walking to his house on the sh main street, I found this little ten-year-old boy. He had a oh, this weird creature, and I'm like, it's like exactly what I described, goop to be. And I'm like, what the fuck is that monstrosity? And he's like, oh, it's just my pet. It's my little pet. I was like, oh, it's your pet, really? Um, I, I was reached into my pocket, pulled out a cup of coin, and it's like here. You can have this copy coin of immense value. And then I could take your boop. And he's like, no, it's my pet. So then I turned to plan B and I just fucking punched him in the face and uh, took the goop. And I fucking teleported out of there. Um, I guess I never met my cousin Bob, but that doesn't fucking matter because science is a little bit more important now. Eh? Uh, anyway, uh, I got the goop, plopped it on my table. Uh, it doesn't fucking do anything, really. Um... So I, I kind of put my finger in it, like poked it, and it just kind of make this weird gloop sound when I do it. It's like, gloop, gloop. It's like, oh, that's a little weird, but it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't hurt or poisonous or anything. It's okay. So I left it on the table for a while, and then I was thinking like, oh, it's, it's a creature. It's probably hungry. Came back to the table, and I found it, it was making these weird gloop sounds again. It's like, gloop. A little bit weak, so I was like, oh, it probably is hungry. So I just took a random apple and gave it to him. I just slowly, slowly went over it, absorbed it, and then it, it just this apple in the middle of this pile of goop. And it just slowly breaks into smaller and smaller pieces and it dissolves into nothing. And I'm like, oh, okay, so it's eight. But that's all it does, so I guess whatever. But then it came back a few hours later and I found this perfect square of a red gelatinous dessert and I'm like no way I mean at least it looked like it and my cat jumped up and he swallowed it it just slurped it up and I was like oh my god it's, it's we don't know what it is it's terrifying but nothing really immediate happened wrong so I was like oh okay so I fed it some grapes and what do you know it's the same fucking thing it's this red cube of gelatinous dessert so I grabbed it and tasted it, and what do you know, it tastes like red cherry? I'm like, well, that's fucking weird. I mean, especially because it's a green goop, and it's pooping out red cubes of dessert, of gelatinous dessert. It's just so weird. Anyway, it was just, it's alright, it's not, it's not too special, but it's just what sharpness is a cube. It's a perfect cube. Anyway, so our other properties is uh, I took a staff. And I just kind of put it through it, and it just it just very easily popped into two goops, smaller goops, and I'm like, oh my! So the goop is like around a foot in diameter. Um, it's perhaps uh, it's like a third of a meter, right? And it's just like, okay, well that's weird. So, so let me try it again, and then I did it for both of the two halves of the goop and then it's four goops and then I did again it's eight goops and I'm like oh no this is terrifying because what if I get a million goops and then I needed to call the exterminator and then I had to say like oh I, 
I've got something in my house. And he's like, what is it? Cockroaches? I'm like, no, it's uh, Minion Goops. And he's like, no, no, no. I can't do that. No. And then he just like tells me to burn down the house. And I'm like, I can't do that. Unbelievable. But as terrifying as it is, uh, you have to pretty much put in a case so it doesn't you know, make into a million goops. It's easy to put back together, but once it gets down to microscopic levels, it's just, or very small levels, it's just annoying. And then you step on it and more goops happen. It's like, oh my god. Uh, it's a little depressing as a pet, if you have it as a pet, to um, basically have it in the cage all day. But, um, I mean, I do, but uh, it's for science. Uh, but that's not the most shocking bit. The most shocking bit is I had a plate of this gelatinous dessert poop. Put it in one of my corners of my library, you see. Uh, I haven't been there for a whole week because I was working on projects and I turned back, it's still there. Perfect as ever. The same as I left it and I grabbed it and took a bite out of it and guess what? It tasted just the same. Unbelievable. This is a very shocking. It's just, it, it's like it always taste the same it just it blew my mind but anyway that, that was the first record of OPP observe protect and pacify as always uh, I guess I'm your host um, wizard Yufar Ozin don't call me all right I'm a little bit more than that <laughs> and uh, calling coming from you from the land in Hindendor so uh, hope you enjoyed it I guess bye bye